Hi there, I'm Cindy Powers Prosser of cindypowersprosser.com. I help people who look happy and successful on the outside, but are struggling in one or more areas of their life on the inside to create lasting happiness and love from within. And today I'm here to ask you, do you have an overactive voice going through your head much of your day? You know, that voice that tends to replay the past, worry about your future, compare yourself to others and think, if only this or that would change, then I'd feel secure, then I'd feel happy. And don't get me wrong, I believe your head is important for navigating certain areas in your life. It's important for collecting linear, fact-based information. When you want to check your bank balance, for example, or study a map to get from point A to point B, or even construct a proper sentence, your head is where you want to go to gather the information. But let's talk about the fear in your head. You see, your head's main job is to keep you safe. Your head is great for collecting and using linear information, the facts. Your head is good for fight or flight kind of danger, when the house is on fire and you need to get out kind of danger. If you stay in your head when the information you are processing is not based on facts, not linear, then your head grasps for things. It starts to spin in fear and what ifs and worries and doubts and, and it creates stories and lies that aren't even true. It just creates more stress. So when you stay in your head and allow it to spin in fear, you create stress in your body. Now, stress is responsible for up to 90% of illness, including heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. When you're in stress, the release of stress hormones shuts down your immune system to conserve your body's energy for fight or flight, for running away from that burning building but there's no burning building, no linear information based on, these, on any facts, just what ifs. So it's important to first collect the information that can then give you the facts and you can take action based on these facts, this linear information. For example, with the coronavirus, it's important to wash your hands Stay three feet away from others. Don't shake hands. Wipe down all surfaces. These are all fact-based information, information that will keep you safe. Now, if you stay in your head and you continue processing from a place of fear, grasping for non-linear information that's not based on facts but what ifs, well, then your head is going to spin in fear and create unsubstantiated drama and stress, and this is not where you want to be. This is the time to stop, drop, and be in your body. Come into your heart. This is where your internal guidance system lives, and this is where you can connect to your intuition and allow that to guide you. This is where you feel your authentic emotions. This is where you can hear the messages of your soul and your higher self so they can guide you. This is where you'll find your center, your true North Star. It's where you can rest and find peace. And from this peaceful place, you can listen and take inspired action, not fear-based action. From the, still, from the stillness within you, you will be internally guided so that you can focus on what's really important to you now. If you think control, security, and peace is out there, outside of you, you've been looking in the wrong direction. And this is probably a whole new concept for you to stop, drop, breathe, and be still, and to listen and feel from the guide, guidance, from, guidance from within you. This is the power from a feminine place, a feminine muscle, that you need to build. Your ego, your head, is a masculine power and it only knows what it only knows. It doesn't know what it doesn't know. It doesn't understand anything that's not based in linear 3D information. It doesn't understand the power of being. 
It only understands the power of doing, thinking, and reacting from what it can see out there. All right, take a big breath. There's great wisdom within you. This is where love is. This is where peace resides. This is where your intuition is and it can guide you. This is where true, your true power is, is found from within. It's inside you. You were born with these inner powers. These are you. This is a part of you and you have just forgotten how to access them. You see, love, inner peace, security, safety, they're not something that you get out there. They're not something you strive for. They're something that's in you, in here. So, if this sounds interesting to you and you wanna know more, I invite you to allow me to guide you to this inner power, to this place within you. I invite you to experience this inner chamber of your heart, the dwelling of your soul, where all your answers are to be found, including love, peace, wisdom, power, and your life purpose. And if you would like me to be your guide, to help you to drop out of your head into a short meditation so that you can experience this kind of power, I invite you to click on the audio link that you see here. It's a short meditation that will give you the experience of finding the power within, of going to this safe place, a place of pause, a place of rest, a place of peace, clarity, and self-love. And if this is interesting and you want to know more, I am offering a course. It's called Ignite Your Love. And you can find the link to that nearby as well. If, I'm, if you're listening to this video and it's not live, I'm sure there's a recorded product of me teaching this course. I teach courses and classes and I have products um, that I offer all year long to help people to drop out of their head and into their body to access the love from within. If this is interesting to you, please reach out. You can find more information at cindypowersprosser.com or send me an email at cindy at cindypowersprosser.com. And if you know anybody that would this information would be useful to, I sure appreciate you sharing it with them. I'd like to reach as many people as I can because my passion and my purpose is creating more love and less fear in the world, today and beyond. All right, that's all for now. From my heart to yours, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.